Hello everybody, welcome to my studio. My name is Lana. I am an acrylic artist and here on my YouTube channel I will teach you so much about acrylic painting, so many different techniques, so many different things to paint. I mean the world is just full of ideas for us to paint. So I am happy that you have stopped by. If you are new to my YouTube channel, please subscribe. Please hit that notification bell and please comment and give me a thumbs up if at any point you are enjoying this video. All right, let's take a look at what we're painting today. I cannot wait to show you this because it's my favorite subject to paint and a lot of you who painted with me probably know fruit is my favorite thing to paint. I cannot wait to paint this with you. Now I'm on an 11 by 14 canvas here and um, I simply love this strawberry, how it splashes down into the water. So we're gonna learn to paint a little bit of transparent water and movement in our water. Oh my gosh, you guys, this was so fun for me. So fun. One of my absolute favorites that I paint, of course, because it has fruit on it. And I just love to paint fruit. But um, besides that, I just think it is an absolutely fun, painting. You can learn so, so much from this painting. I cannot wait to paint it with you, you guys. It's going to be such a great project. So if you are ready, we're going to be painting with DecoArt Americana Acrylic Paints. Let's grab our paints and supplies and let's get painting. Okay, let's start this. I'm going to make a light gray to undercoat for my red. Paint my strawberry in with this. Just gonna mix as I go here. While that's drying, we'll get a coat on our leaves. I think I might want to add another leaf in here. We're going to use Hauser Medium Green. Okay. I really need sugar big time.
Let's paint our leaves in. bigger and maybe we won't need a, another leaf in there. Still feel like the balance is off here. Okay, how's it light green? And the light gray mix is what we've done so far. Let's add some red on here. We're gonna start with a little bit, well, no, I think we'll, we'll base the whole thing in with red. Get that undercoating on there. Um, get this dry. We're gonna do primary red. worry too much about getting in the background because it's black we can touch it up before we start doing our water effect on here
And let's try a wet on wet technique. So I'm going to put uh, cat orange and primary red on here. And so I'm going to start, or not cat orange, cat red up here. Okay, it's going to be a little darker in there. So now I'm going to pick up primary red and start applying that. We'll do a wet blend. Right through here. This is a very large um, strawberry. And then I'm going to grab my cranberry wine. That. I am not even cleaning my brush in between these colors. So I'm putting this down here at the bottom and I'm going to let it start blending out to those other colors. We haven't put a second coat on our leaves yet, so I'm not worried too much about our leaves. So this is a wet on wet here. That's the easiest way to start incorporating your different values when it's something that's uh, so large. Ooh, okay, that's a lot of paint right there. dark color off. Okay, so I've introduced three values onto this strawberry, but I want to get it dry and repeat that. chunky monkey paints. Alright, so I'm going to redo this. I want to make sure that's cool. So we're going to start back out with our cadmium red. And I want to introduce a little bit of a lighter orange in here. So I'm going to put some orange flame on here. And while this is wet, we'll just blend that out a little bit. I'm going to wipe my brush off and grab my primary red and work some of that in here. Just very gently blend out those wet areas. Go to our cranberry wine. Turn the canvas upside down so we can work on this bottom part. Bring it up and then just gently blend that out. It's almost a tickle blend, a little bit, a little bit more than a tickle blend. Just going to corner load and go around my leaves. And we'll straighten up our leaves and, and all the things to do with them when we put our second coat on. Okay, we need to darken up down here at the bottom of our strawberry. 
maybe a little bit lighter there. So we're going to work on those two values, get this dry. I'm going to wipe out my brush. Get all that excess paint out of it. to side load my orange flame and we're going to put that up here okay I'm going to wipe that out uh, put some black out I want to mix my cranberry wine and black so I'm going to corner load my cranberry wine and just a tiny bit of black mixed in there to darken up that cranberry wine. If you start painting it and it's too dark, then just pick up a little bit more cranberry wine on your brush. If your brush is dragging, you know what that means. It means you need moisture in it. Ooh, too much black. Wipe my brush off and grab more cranberry or yeah, cranberry wine. Okay, I'm gonna go around my this up a little bit more. And then I'm going to go around my leaves. I'm still using this large brush. Could go to a smaller one here. Around my leaves. bit darker here around our leaves. All right, I'm going to wipe that paint out of my brush. I want to grab some of my primary red and blend that a little bit up into that dark. So pretty already. We haven't even put the details on it. Get a little bit of my CAD red. And blend that through here. I don't want to lose my values here. Alright, that looks really good for our strawberry. I'm going to rinse my brush now. And let's get this dry. Okay, let's straighten up on our all of our leaves here, which was the Hauser medium green. without any areas we need to.
Okay, that second layer should be a thin layer on there. All right, so our strawberry should be dry. We're going to start putting the little seed things on our strawberry. So get yourself a good liner. Mine's a 5-0 oh long. Um, I like the 10-0 oh liners, but mine out of this line broke. And I haven't been able to fix it. And I have a 10-0 oh short, which would probably work well for seeds. So, okay, we're going to take our black and start laying in some of our seeds in here. Um, this is a pretty big strawberry, so your seeds can be decent size. That seems like it's going to be too many seeds here. I think. I'm going to remove them. So I think I might want it to be a little bit bigger. So I think I might actually draw them in first. Not sure we'll see these down here in the end, so you could probably leave those if you wanted to. quite dry, I just smeared it. Alright. I think I'm going to dry this and draw my seeds in so I don't have a gazillion on here, although it's a pretty big strawberry. I don't think we need as many seeds on there as what I was going with. Okay, I drew them in here. They're much bigger now. I think that will look much better on this, so we'll start with our black. Could mix some of that cranberry in with it, make them not so pure black. Let's see if I can still see my lines here. So we're going to do the mix of black and cranberry so they're not quite so stark black.
It'll be a little bit smaller as they come down here. Trying to get all the chalk off of here. Where I drew on it. I've got some other layers to go on here, so if it doesn't come off completely, it'll eventually be covered. my filbert brush for this. We're going to start um, putting some highlight around our seed. So I'm going to take my white and my yellow light and mix them together. I don't want a lot of moisture in my brush. I'm just going to do an equal mix. See how this looks. Scrubbing on a little bit of a highlight on here. This will be kind of textury a little bit and it won't be smooth, let's put it that way. Load my brush, I'm gonna and I tapped it off to remove excess off the tip because we are using mostly the tip of the brush here. and less paint as I work my way down the canvas. So I'll start with very light pressure out here. I might have brought that down a little too far. I need to keep it more up there, I think. So all of this down here, I'll have to wash over it with some other color. All right, so we'll let that get going. And we're going to take our round brush now and create a little seed pocket on here. Um, I'm not really sure what color I want to use here. I 
guess whatever will show up. that shape. I think what I'm going to do instead is take my cranberry wine and black mix. stroke kind of along the bottom of the seed and up the I guess it would be I don't know the depends on which way you're looking at it the side that faces down to the bottom of the strawberry the bottom edge of the strawberry This will be a step we'll probably do first. Create that spot where the seed's going to go. Put the seed in it, and then we'll highlight the seed. make a, a piece of fruit look real there does tend to be a few more steps to painting it than just some little shading and highlighting here and there okay, I won't worry too much about all these down here because they're really in the shadows Take my cat orange. I'll just stay with this flat brush. I'm going to cover up some of this highlight I put on here. I 
this is cad red, not cad orange. I don't know why I keep calling it cad orange. Just some primary red here. A little mix of both. I'm going to wipe my brush and go into that brighter orange so I can put some... Oh, okay. Okay, probably took out too much of the highlight now. <laughs> it's just one of those things. Alright, back to my filbert. I'm going to use that yellow and white mix again. And come back in and put just a little bit of it back in. Let me look at it and see where I want it to be. Highlight my seeds with some white. Kind of in the middle of the seed. I'm not not doing a lot, just a little. A little on this edge. Solid line on there. All right, a few more seeds. We do not have to do them all. going to float along or add more color down along the bottom of the strawberry now. So I want to take that cranberry. I'm going to go back to my very large brush here. The cranberry and the black. Mix them together. I'm 
wipe my brush out and get a little bit of the primary red. I'm going to add a little water to it so it's thinner. darkness down here and more definitely needs to be a little bit darker. Not too much darker because our water is going to come up over that. Need a little bit more highlight within the strawberry itself. certainly take over very 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 quickly so you have to be careful with that much better. A little more highlight on the strawberry up here with just white. Too much moisture in my brush. Okay, I think we're going to leave our strawberry right there. We're going to get our leaves painted and our water areas drawn on here. Because um, I think the strawberry looks pretty good. We may have to come in and add a little bit more highlight down here with some of that yellow. I tell you what, let's do the orange and the yellow mixed together. The orange flame and the yellow light. cad red or my primary red depends on the area what color it mostly has underneath could be a mixture of the two all right that looks better i'm liking that just kind of work that strawberry until you're happy with it so let's go and shade on our leaves now i'm gonna put some hauser dark green out and start that with our shading color this chisel blender, size 10, and this will just be our first layer. We'll definitely need to darken this. I'm just going to bounce around this leaf area. Of course, this is the darker shadowed side over here. Don't 
worry about the background. We will touch all of that up. one this little one here okay we've got our first shading on those we'll definitely let those dry and repeat to the touch. Now we're just going to go over all those areas again with this same color. And then we'll use a little bit darker color in the darkest areas of our leaves. I think I got all of them with the second, second shading on there. And we're going to add our highlight on here. Alright, let's uh, work on highlights on our leaves. I'm using Margarita as my highlight color on here. Because I want these to be pretty bright. So we're going to put one highlight on and then we're going to add a little... Um, detail to our leaves. I'm just side loading. These are some pretty bright green leaves so I probably will wash over them with a really bright green.
right, this is looking good. I think our strawberry looks great. Um, all right, let's add some little details onto our leaves here. Um, some veins and stuff, I think, we'll add on here. Um, I think I'll get my base color and this margarita that I've got out here and do a little mix of these two. Um, maybe an equal mix. See if these are going to show up on here. I want to add some some little veins in here. There's all these little veins that are in here. I'm going to have to add a little bit more of that darker green. vein stuff going on in there. So you'll just have to adjust your mix based on, um, first of all I'm going to get this leaf a little more pointy out here. Let me put out some of this green that I'm going to be washing over it with. It might be bit too bright but let's mix it in there and see what we get you don't want it to fade away when it um, gets that brighter wash on there leaves have lots of little veins in them but for the most part they kind of have just these main veins and then some little ones that come off of them so so you can start with just your main ones that you can see and then put a few that come off of it. Very. If you can make them delicate, that's even better. Actually, some little vein stuff you know just kind of be as thin with this as you can got our darkest shadows as well that we have to put on here and our brightest highlights and a wash of color so we've got a couple more steps to do on our, on our leaves. I'm 
that one don't have to have a whole lot done to it. It's so small. Last one here. Okay. It's detail, but it's not overdone detail. Okay? It's important. Okay. <clears throat> so let's do a little bit brighter highlight on here. So let's grab our, I think our yellow. Maybe I'll put some white out too because I'm not really sure what I want to do when I wash over these. I really want that highlight to stand out and be pretty bright. Okay, this is an equal mix of uh, margarita and white. Just a little bit on here. I don't want to cover up our um, all of our vein stuff here. That white's going to make it a little bit more opaque. Just putting a little bit of this color on here. Just a couple places. I'm not doing it in everywhere. Just do our dark colors on here, our dark shading, and we're going to mix some black and Hauser dark green together. Darken that green up, so just a touch of black in there. to our darkest areas here and create those really dark oops paint on the wrong side of my brush here Smooth 
this edge out because I kind of got it weird looking. Making that really dark green, almost black green. And that edge really could be highlighted instead of. Needs a little bit more green in the mix, maybe. Checking, I've got all my dark areas the way that I want them to be. All my light areas the way that I want them to be, so maybe a little bit brighter highlight on here. Before we wash over it, this is just white. barely have any paint on my brush. I want to make sure all the ones that are on top of other Other leaves have their highlight edge defined. With a little bit of white. Okay, that looks pretty good right there. That was just a little bit of white. Make sure it's dry. And then we're going to create a wash of this this bright green, which is festive green. Lots of water. Not very much paint because we can come back and add another layer on here but we don't want it to block out all of our detail work. We just want some bright leaves on here. So you can see the ones we haven't done yet. 
make sure your wash is mostly water and it's just tinted with that. Okay. I'm going to do the th same thing to my strawberry. I want to put some wash of color on it. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my little filbert brush that I had. I want some area right through here to be darker. Um, more shadowy, more meaty uh, cherry. So I'm going to take my uh, lizard crimson and a little bit of black and mix that together. Make this deep burgundy color. And I'm going to kind of put that in through this area. Maybe just a tiny bit more black in there. cherry look much better. I'll get all these <clears throat> more darker areas in here. A little bit more black in there. Just a tiny bit. Don't don't go overboard and turn your strawberry black. But this darker area needs to come all the way over to our shadowy side. Take it up this way a little bit. And a little bit in here. Not quite so highlighty there. Okay, I want to 
gonna put <clears throat> dry this and put my wash of uh, cherry red on here. Cherry red's a very um, beautiful pinky red. I love it on cherries. I think it's going to be great on here. I'm going to cover the whole thing because we're going to come back with some really bright highlights on our strawberry. I was thinking about what to call it because I didn't want to call it a tomato <laughs> or a cherry. thing with this wash. Now it's a little bit more pigmented of a wash than we used up on our leaves. And I think we'll do a second wash on our leaves because they could be brighter. That's drying. There's no water everywhere. While that's drying, let's put another layer on our leaves of that festive green. dry. it's cool. And I'm going to do this cherry wash on here again. I'm not going to worry too much about the lower part this time. Just everything else. Let's try that. Okay, I really want these leaves to be super bright, so I'm going to go over the highlight edge with this festive green. It's transparent color, but I didn't really thin it down any this time. I'm just going with some straight paint. I just want that little bit of, a little bit more brightness on here. I think we'll come back with a white highlight on this. On our leaves. 
They just weren't bright enough. I want I want both the leaves and the cherry cherry strawberry to stand out with their brightness. And so I need that that really big pop of bright color. Just a little bit of some washy white. Okay. All right, let's finish our highlight on our strawberry. And we're going to use our filbert brush and some white paint. Out of my brush. Okay, so with this, we're going to be very more controlled with um, where we put it. this in specific areas but we're going to go all the way across from up here go around these areas with the tip of my brush creating a little bit more sharpness but still imperfect I think we might be able to leave our strawberry highlights right there. Okay, 
I, I think I'm going to leave them right there for now. Um, when we get our our um, water splashes line drawing on here, we can see if we need to adjust anywhere. But I think right there is okay. I'm not really sure that I want those to go down so far, but I, I kind of need them to go down that far. So I think my seeds should have been a little closer together in that area. So let's get our water line on here. Okay, I'm going back over some of these areas that still had a lot of orange or pink in it from me washing over with just some cherry red. So I may rethink the colors that I use on here. But that's making it pop out really good and be more red looking. Just going back over the areas where I had that more orange color and where I put this dark color so I could get it all to look more red red instead of pink red. I have to redo my highlights probably on some of my seeds. I do kind of like that pink on there. My seeds probably could have been the orange color. Okay, that's good enough. I got my water line on here, so we're going to start creating our water line on here. Now, some areas are going to be transparent, and some areas are going to be a little bit more opaque. So this will be a learning experience for me, so we shall see how it goes. Um, I do want some blues in here. Um, I almost feel like I need like an aquamarine blue or some ultramarine blue or something like that. Because uh, it's a little more transparent. Okay, so I did grab an ultramarine blue here. I think I'm also going to put some glazing medium out on my palette and use it in a few places. So <laughs> let's do this. I don't really know what I'm doing, so let's just do it together. All right, I'm going to load my brush up with some glazing medium and get a little bit of that ultramarine blue and work that in with my glazing medium. This will be really transparent. Um, we won't see a whole lot of it on this black at first, but we just want to start adding some of this color in here. Ultramarine blue and glazing medium. Okay, I'm going to bring it up on my Strawberry just a little bit. Okay, we'll have some of this out here. A little bit through here. This is just a little bit of color. It's not uh, not a whole lot, so. So you're not really going to see it a whole lot at first. We'll put some fresh white out because we're going to need white. And we'll do some black out for areas where we have to go back in and fill in with black if we get too carried away with our white. <coughs> okay, I'm just going to wipe my brush, keep a little bit of that blue in there, and get some white and glazing medium. And we'll start adding some lighter color in here. Now this is really going to start showing up here. I'm going to keep my brush a little more on the flat side. Just start creating some like watery stuff going on here. 
little bit of movement. We will come back and define this a little bit more as we work this. Okay, we can bring this up on our cherry. working with some transparent color here. going a long ways with what little bit I have on my brush here. I'm going to use a smaller brush for those, I think. Alright, I'm going to reload. Glazing medium and a little bit of white. Just starting to create a little bit of transparent look here. This is just letting us know where we want to go here. That's all it's doing. I can come out here and do a little bit on my water drops that are splashing out. I think we've got our areas established pretty well. Okay, 
just a super thin layer here. Nothing super, super, super spectacular. Okay, let's do a little bit more on here. Uh, I'm going to switch over to my um, Filbert brush and I'm going to use the white with a little bit of blue. And we can still use a little bit of glazing medium. We're going to create a little bit heavier areas on here so that we can start defining um, shapes a little more. Glazing medium is going to help us move this paint a little bit um, longer so that we don't have to load our brush so frequently. We can get some thin layers on here and then work from there. This is not even our brightest layer that we're going to put on here. Grab a little bit more blue. Back to my more white and blue mixture. glazing medium. I'm going to wipe most of the paint out of my brush. Grab some glazing medium, I think. And just put a little transparent stuff in here. Back to my white and a little bit of blue, mostly white and glazing medium. Glazing medium. I want to use it in place of my water.
glazing medium here. Kind of smooth that out a little bit. We're going to try not to make too many extremely smooth lines here. The more kind of choppy you make it, the more realistic it's going to be. Okay, we're just using that white, a tiny bit of our ultramarine blue and glazing medium. here, really close to this one. And your waterline does not have to look just like mine. It can be, you know, any kind of shape at the top of it. I just want it to show that it has some kind of movement, that it's not super solid. brush that down and then come underneath that with a heavier line I'm going to brush that down a little bit more because I want this to start coming down this way want a really super transparent layer right here so I think I'll wipe the paint out of my brush and just load up with some glazing medium and this is going to go in here and there's going to be a few little bubbles going in through there back to your white and a little bit of blue mix and we'll create some bubbles in here just barely create them we're going to come back and define more with some of our when we come in and add some of our details in here Create more um, kind of line look, of, uh, like a water water line. This is still that blue, white, and glazing medium mix.
So this water will require quite a few steps. So we started out with a super transparent layer and now we're going with a little bit darker layer on here and then we will do our brightest. We should just have one more layer after we complete this layer. some glazing medium. Let it blend a little bit with that white so we can start creating a little bit of a transparent blue down in here. In any place that we get too much we just come back in with our black and take care of it. So we're not going to worry too much about um, how this is going on here right now because we're going to add uh, some black at the end to finish everything out. Right now we're just using that really transparent blue and creating that little bit of blue color in here. your glazing medium starts um, drying up on you, then just put some fresh out. There's no need to work so hard or get things difficult. So when it starts drying up, just put some fresh out. So I'm going to put some fresh out. And if it starts drying up in an area where you're mixing, go to a whole new area on your and mix it. some of the glazing medium out of my brush. It's starting to kind of dry in my brush. And then start a new place to mix here. So I'm still working with that blue mostly blue. Okay. And put some of this up through here. I'm going to bring this line down farther and make it a little bit more opaque. Lighter in color as well.
some blue in there. And blue over here. We just want to see that little bit of blue tint. But we don't want to over overemphasize it. transparent so don't get carried away. Want some of this blue over here. Putting this, this um, transparent blue in here, you can have a tiny little bit, I mean the tiniest little bits of white in your brush, and, and that's okay. But um, we're trying to keep it transparent, so when we come back and put our brightest whites on here, it will really shine. Our water drops out that come out will not need this blue in it. Um, this blue is just kind of shadowy reflection stuff down in this lower part. layer. So we did a little bit of a lighter layer. It was a blue and white mix with the glazing medium and then a layer of mostly um, just blue and glazing medium. Just a little tiny bit of white. And I think that will do that layer. So now we need to add our brightest white layer on here. And it's the, the layer that will probably be the most fun because you get to add the definitions and the designs on your water that you want. We'll create the water drops and we can come back in with our um, 
black and clean up areas and maybe even with a little red on our strawberry and clean up some areas and uh, get some crisper stuff going on there with our water and I think it'll be it's gonna be gorgeous it's already looking so awesome okay I'm using a long one so that I can hold more paint in my brush and we're gonna start by coming out here and defining our little water drops okay we can come in with black and fill them fill them in if we get anything too awful big okay we want to create some smaller ones maybe just some little dots I'm not sure I like that dot but I can cover that up with black If you prefer to use a different kind of brush, that's fine. We'll have water drops on our strawberry as well, so. And some of these we may have to come back and. Go over the white again if your white's not going to define very well. Okay, so then we can start adding our brightest white on here. Got my white thinned down a little bit with some water, but um, we don't want to have too much water thinning it down. Finish my thought there. This is all the detail work. And water's not just going to be straight lines, so.
This is a little bit more advanced class. I think it could be interpreted as intermediate to advanced. This area here, I'm going to create some movement of the water here. Just putting some lines in it. It's going to create our highs and lows within that little bit of water right there. I'm not going to worry about anything down here. Touch that back with my finger a little bit because I don't want it to be super bright. Look how fun it is to make water, you guys. So incredibly fun. So I'm going to work my way down. So I'm going to go ahead and work some smaller water drops on our strawberry. Some of these are going to be a little bitty. Maybe just a little kiss of a highlight or something. You can kind of put them wherever you want them on here. I'm going to work my way down to this um, area, Just adding little drops of water. I want a little bolder highlight right here, especially where that is meeting that. I'll definitely have to go back and brighten a few areas. little dots here and there. Let's put a water drop over here and maybe one right here. Okay, that was a lot of paint right there. Here we'll have a couple of little drops of water. I mean, because it's kind of splashing everywhere, so. Okay, I'm going to go out here and do these water drops so I can have my water drops all based in, and we can come back and add more white and um, maybe. Take some down, put some black. Some little ones out here. Quite a 
few in here. Yep, on that tip of that brush, that's really going to help. Make sure you thin your paint as you need to. Ooh, look how fun this is. I'm going to go along this long edge here. And define it a little bit more sharply. And I'm going to put some character stuff in this. This line here will be a little bit more defined. And a bunch of little bubbles. edge just a little bit more and then through here we can create some little bubble stuff in there a little bit lighter through here a few more bubbles. Um, we want to define, just barely define this line. Okay. 
down to here we're going to get some really fun stuff going on here. Take our white and create some a uh, little bit of. I'm just going to stay with this brush and kind of create some irregular texture stuff going on here. Just for some thicker white. If you're having trouble with this brush, then you can go back to your filbert brush. We're going to thin our paint down now so we can have a nice flow with this long brush and we're going to come in here and start creating some water areas. Very thin. We're looking pretty good here. All right, so now is your opportunity to go back over anything that you feel needs more. of the bright white highlight. And this is when you want to try and use more straight paint because you'll get your brighter highlight that way. Thin down white, then it will still soften it back in there. So I'm just going to go over some of my thicker lines.
Now this seems like the most tedious part, but it is the most impactful part. So try not to get too um, discouraged and you're not going over every single line, you're just creating some some bolder areas on here. Some areas that are going to stand more out forward and on top. These are all pretty bright out here so I don't have to do too much with them. And by not doing every single area that we put white the first time, we're creating more values, which is creating more depth. Okay? which is in turn going to be the most impactful I'm just kind of letting my eye wander around and try and figure out where some a little bit brighter areas could be these water drops that we've put down here in the water itself we are going to put a little black dot in them and then out here we can just find a couple of spots where we want to brighten because again we don't want to brighten everything take our black, which is probably about dried up, it's been out here so long. Okay, and we'll put a little dot inside these. We could actually mix the black and blue together here. These that are out here in the water, we want a little black dot in them. And you can certainly do a whole lot more than what I've done. Um, I just feel like, you know, we don't want to get too much and then our class be 15 hours long. Alright, so I'm going to take inside the ones that are on the strawberry, I want uh, some of that darker red. This is that um, 
Oh, those are in crimson. Not really sure about all of this through here. I think I might have it just a little bit thicker than what I want. Everything else looks great. Okay, so back to my black. I'm going to take my black and any areas that I want to clean up. Create some sharpness. Take my black and do that. I'm going to do a little bit of a thin black line along this edge. Right to about there. And then let's see where else I want to clean up. Make sure my water drops are shaped the way that I want them to be. And that everything looks good. So I think that looks so fun, you guys. I'm going to rethink my highlights up here. I just feel like it's it's coming down too far. Something something in through there. I'm not really sure, but um, the water looks great. I love it. I might take my dark red and define a little bit more of a line in here. Just right through there. Maybe down here in this area as well. I feel like we need some red down in here, maybe. I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to decide on that. If I decide to change it, I'll come back and let you know. But for now, I think it looks pretty good. I'm very happy with it. I uh, hope you're happy with it. And, um, well, actually, I, I see one, one thing I could do a little bit different. I'm going to side load a little bit of white in some of these white areas. I'm going to just float a little bit. Smooth out 
up the white a little bit, but we still have that nice defining line. I don't have to do it everywhere. That a little bit more softness. Just have a little wash of white here. a bit more blue than what I want, so let me come back over it. All right, I think that's gonna, that's gonna get it. rethink this area up here. All right, I decided to take some of that out. It, to me, it was just too much. So I, I like it a little bit more like this, where it's just staying a little bit more up there. And so this is um, a mix of cadmium orange and a little bit of tomato red. And I'm just taking out some of the more prominent areas. I do want highlight along this edge. I just don't want it to be quite so big right there. And this one can be a little bit smaller. So we'll just take them down. If you have to add a little white in there to get a little opacity, you can do that. And then come back with just the cad red and orange mixture. I'll go back up here with just tomato red. And I'll have to put a couple of my um, water drops back in and my seed things. So I'm just using all the colors that I used. The uh, cad, cad red, the tomato red, and a little bit of the um, Alizarin Crimson with a little bit of black, not too much black. Too much water. And then I'll just come back in and redo my water drops. And my seeds, I think I'm going to make my seeds the uh, Cad Red and um, maybe Tomato Red mixture where they're not quite so bright. Oh, let me go down here and put some of this on this area. Bring it back to red. And I'm going to put some of my tomato red, or cherry red, back on here as well. So that edge right there really does not need to be that, that wide. This 
is just tomato red and cat red mixed together here. Okay, keeping that highlight a little bit more controlled, I like that. seed area right there. And then when I come back with the seeds, I can put that seed in. So let's take a little cherry red. Oh, that's got some black in it. We don't want black in our cherry red. Remember, we're watering it down, getting into nice watery color. Keep that super bright red on there. wash of cherry red. I'm trying to stay off of my water drops, but I'll have to go back and redo some of them. So it's just so we can keep that bright red on there. Okay. All right. So let me redo my little seed things. red and maybe yellow mixed together. That might look the best. More yellow in there. Yellow's kind of transparent, so I might have to add a tiny bit of white. There we go. I'll call this one done. I'll go back over some that I covered up with red so that they make sure that they stand on top. Okay, I think that looks much better. Like that. That looks good. I think I'm happy with my highlights. My water drops look good. I think I'm happy, happy, happy. And again, you can make as many water drops as you want. I think I'm going to join some of these over this way. So 
not all water drops are created equal, so don't feel like you have to make them all the same shape. They're all different. I think we're looking pretty good here. Go back over a couple of these water drops. I think we're looking good. There we go. That looks much better adding that little bit of bright white back on there. I think I will call this one done. Yep, yep. Yep. Alright, I think I've gone over all mine that had red on it. You can do it a couple of times if you want. What you might have to do if you got red on any of yours, you'll probably have to do it a couple times to cover up that red. Looking good, looking good. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Alright, I'm hoping you're loving it because I'm going to call that one done. I absolutely love how this turned out, you guys. I hope that you've enjoyed it. So join me for another video. And please subscribe, please like, please share. I appreciate you all. I hope you all are going to paint this. It was a lot of fun. I'll see you on the next one, everybody. Bye-bye.